lesson, we will be answering questions about circles and solids. Let's first review the definition of a circle. A circle is a plane figure that consists of all points that are the same fixed distance from a point C. The point C is called the center. So this blue figure here is a circle, and this point is the center. The radius of a circle is the distance from the center of the circle to any point on the circle, which should be this distance here. The diameter of a circle is the distance across the circle passing through the center, which should be this distance here. The diameter is twice the radius, and the radius is half the diameter. So if we let r equal the radius, and d equal the diameter, because the diameter is twice the radius, we can write the equation d equals two times r, or d equals two r, and because the radius is half the diameter, we can write the equation r equals d divided by two. These equations might be helpful when answering our questions about a circle. Going back to the previous slide, in the first circle, we're asked to find the diameter. Looking at the given information, notice how we're given the radius is equal to four centimeters, and we're looking for the length of the diameter, which should be the length all the way across the circle, passing through the center. By looking at the figure, we should be able to recognize the diameter is equal to two times four centimeters or eight centimeters. But if we wanted to write an equation, we could write the diameter d is equal to two times r, where r is equal to four centimeters. Two times four centimeters is equal to eight centimeters, which is a diameter. The next circle, we're given the length of segment rj is 10 inches which means the diameter is 10 inches, and we're asked to determine the radius. Just looking at the figure, notice how we can see the radius is equal to half the diameter, and therefore the radius is equal to 10 inches divided by two or five inches. But if we want to show some work, we can say the radius is equal to d divided by two, which is 10 inches divided by two, and therefore r is equal to five inches. Now the third question deals with a sphere. The relationship between the radius and diameter of a sphere is the same relationship as the radius and diameter for a circle. And here we're given the diameter of a sphere is 25 miles, find the radius. So here we'll use the equation for the radius. The radius is equal to the diameter divided by two, or in this case, the radius is equal to 25 miles divided by two. Let's find this quotient here on the side. So 25 divided by two. That's one, two, and two. One times two is two. We subtract, the difference is zero. Bring down the five. There are two twos in five. Two times two is four. We subtract. Subtract, the difference is one. So the quotient is 12 and one half, which means the radius is 12 and one half. But let's also express this using a decimal. So I'll put our decimal into the right of the five, and then up into the quotient, and now we can add a zero and bring it down. And now determine how many twos in 10, which is five. Five times two is 10, subtract the difference is zero. The quotient is 12.5, and therefore the radius is 12.5 miles. And now for the next question, we're asked to identify each solid. Referring to our notes, here we have a rectangular solid, a cube, a square pyramid, a sphere, a cylinder, and a cone. So you may want to pause the video and review some of these definitions. Going back to our question, looking at our first figure here, we have two parallel bases that are circles, and therefore, this is a cylinder. A cylinder is a solid with curved sides and two parallel bases that are circles. Looking at the next solid, we need to decide whether this is a rectangular solid or a cube. A rectangular solid is a solid that consists of six sides or faces, all of which are rectangles, and a cube is a rectangular solid whose six sides are squares. 
we're not given any measurements of the sides, and therefore we cannot assume all the faces are squares, so we'll identify this as a rectangular solid. Now looking at figure C, notice how this solid does resemble a square pyramid, where a square pyramid is a solid with a square base and triangular sides which meet at a point called the apex. But our base is not a square, our base is a triangle, and therefore the name of this solid is a triangular pyramid. I hope you found this helpful.